Patrick Reed for GoMarquette.com. Marquette lacrosse back at home on Saturday against Providence, a Big East matchup, and that's at noon at Hard Park. And one of the men you'll see on the field, sophomore Jacob Richard. One of the things he does in his free time, he plays the piano. He's a pretty accomplished piano player at that. He performed at the Marquette University Student Athlete Talent Show on Wednesday. Let's take a listen. So, Jacob, when did you pick up the piano, and, uh, and what drew you to it? I started playing first grade. Um, at first, my parents were, wanted to make me do it, but uh, so I was a little resistant to it at first, but then towards fourth grade, I started to love it, and I just wanted to challenge myself more and more, getting the songs that I'm not supposed to play because I'm not there yet, but my teacher would let me try them out and practice a year and uh, get that song, and it was, I enjoyed it a lot. With time spent in school and time spent here on the lacrosse field, how much time do you get to play these days? Not a lot, unfortunately. So at school, when I see the piano room is open, maybe once a month I'll sneak in there, but not too much. When your athletic career really started to kick off and blossom, how did you find that playing the piano helped you out? Uh, when I got home from a hard day of practice, it, it was always nice to sit down at the piano and just relax. I don't, I don't know, it's something different. It's, uh, sports are aggressive and and uh, high pace, high energy, and music is more gentle and sensitive. I enjoy it a lot. Now, Jacob, let's talk about your position a little bit. A defensive midfielder. For folks who don't know much about the game, what is that position? What are you doing out there on the field? Uh, I'm a midfielder that specializes in defense. I'm usually not allowed to shoot the ball. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a fun position. It's, uh, you cover the uh, other team's middies, and your job is just not to get beat. I don't know. It's uh, Usually, coach puts the more athletic kids, less skilled players. So uh, give and take there, but I love it. Well, sometimes that role does lead to goals. Had one against St. John's on Sunday as we take a look at the play right here. I don't think anybody was expecting to make that move and go to the goal. Yeah, I, from what I hear, the sidelines were all, was all on, don't shoot, don't shoot, no, no, no. And then after that, coach came up to me and said, you're lucky you scored because I would have, you know. <laughs> Well, things worked out for the best for Marquette, worked out with a win in that game. Jacob, this program in its second year, and, and you've been with it the whole way. How do you feel about the progress of this program, the win at St. John's, the close game against Notre Dame on Wednesday, going into Providence on Saturday? Recently, we've been able to uh, beat good teams in close games and show our grit as a team and our blue-collar team. We really take pride in that, being tough. And so uh, we are in great position in the Big East to uh, make the Big East playoffs, which is our goal. Um, so we just have to make sure to keep doing the small plays, the right plays all the time and not lose our focus and not take teams too lightly. It's another Big East opportunity for Marquette on Saturday at Hard Park as they take on Providence. That's a noontime game. For tickets, for promotions, and to find a way to Hard Park, log on to GoMarquette.com. We'll see you out there.